Hi, welcome back and in this video, we'll be comparing two of the best mid-price robot vacuums available right now, the Roomba 980 and the Roborock S5 Max. So I put this through to a series of tests to check how well these robots navigate, clean and much more. But first, let's go through the similarities and differences and I'll start with navigation. Both these products are smart navigating robot vacuums but each one does it differently. The Roborock S5 Max utilizes a laser sensor on top to help it draw maps, avoid furniture, and pinpoint its location. While the Roomba 980 relies on a top-mounted camera that has a similar purpose. One advantage LiDAR has over camera-based navigation is it will work even in total darkness, whereas a camera-based robot will need a light source for it to function. iRobot addresses this by adding a floor tracking sensor underneath as a backup just in case the lights go dim. It's a similar sensor found in the newer Roomba i3 and the Roborock E4, but these robots rely solely on it for tracking location. Both robots navigate in straight lines. Roomba cleans the middle portions first before moving to the edges, while the S5 Max does the opposite and cleans the edges first before moving to the middle. The iRobot Home app provides users the option to turn off edge cleaning if you want to save on time, something not available with the S5 Max. LiDAR is very precise and rarely does the S5 Max not find a charging station. If you move the dock, it tries to recalibrate and locate it before the run. However, the S5 Max doesn't have dirt detect and no other brand has this except for iRobot because it's a patented technology. Dirt detect tells the robot to do extra passes on areas with more debris. I've tested this extensively and it does seem to work as advertised. Once it detects more dirt, it will do several more passes. The beauty of this technology is it's fluid. There's no fixed number of passes, it just goes back and forth until it senses the area is clean. This technology isn't perfect but quite effective and a significant reason why Roomba products clean floors very well. Roborock doesn't have dirt attack but relies on being able to go around up to 3 times. Users have the option to set the number of passes between 1 and 3. Roomba also has this feature but only up to 2 passes but with dirt attack, 2 is more than enough. Next, we'll look at the design. Both robots have round frames, but the similarity ends here. The placement of the buttons is different. The S5 Max has two right above the LiDAR cover, and the 980 has three above the camera. But since this product has smartphone apps, I doubt you'll use these buttons often. The S5 Max does bin loads from the top, while the Roomba 980 slides in and out from the back. In terms of volume, the 980 is bigger with a 0.6 liter capacity, 26% bigger than the S5 Max's capacity of 0.46 liters. You can see the size difference when you put this dustbin side by side. Underneath, you can see that both robots have a single side brush. The 980 has the more traditional side brush with the bristle tips. In comparison, the S5 Max has the all rubber side brush, which I like better since I think it's more durable. Another difference would be the main brush roll. Ruma uses two brushes, which is a staple in all of the robot vacuums. The 980 uses rubber extractors similar to the 800 series robots that does away with the bristles and you won't find this design in other brands because again, it's a patented technology by iRobot. These extractors do an excellent job in debris pickup. It was able to clean debris of various sizes from fine sand to large stuff like Fruit Loops. The S5 Max uses a single comber brush and this model is one of the best performing Roborock options in surface and deep cleaning tests. These robots don't differ much in terms of size. The 980 measures 13.5 inches wide, while the S5 Max is slightly wider at 13.6 inches. Minus the LiDAR sensor, the 980 is shorter, measuring 3.6 inches tall, so it fits under the shoe rack with a 3.7 inch clearance. The S5 Max is taller at around 3.8 inches tall if you add the height of the LiDAR cover, so it didn't fit underneath the shoe rack. Roborock has better climbability versus the Roomba 980, it was able to go over the 0.8 inch rug, while the Roomba 980 did not. It was able to climb a portion, but it needs to approach it at the right angle. However, it didn't completely go over the rug. Now let's look at the test results and I'll start with airflow. The Roomba 980 has more airflow in its two power settings with up to 19 CFM compared to the S5 Max's 17.74 CFM at the highest setting. Please note that the S5 Max has up to 4 power settings, so you have the option to use the lower setting if you're concerned about noise. Rober also did an excellent job with muffling the noise, only producing up to 62.4 decibels on the sound meter at the max setting. The 980 is noisier with a little over 74 decibels in performance mode. 
Even in the lowest setting, the 980 is louder than the S5 Max at its highest setting at 66 decibels. Roomba's high airflow, rubber extractors, and dirt detect enable it to clean hard floors and carpet with high efficiency. It was able to pick up debris cleanly and with the back and forth passes, ensure only a minimal amount is left behind. The benefit of dirt detect is seen in the deep cleaning test where the 980 was able to pick up an average of 91.9%. It was able to detect the sand and repeatedly went back and forth on these areas on several occasions. The S5 Max also did well in the deep cleaning test but with a lower score of 84.75%, which is the best of all the Roborock products I've tested in this category. Both will also do well cleaning sand on hard floors. The Roomba 980 picked up 100% in two tests, while the S5 Max was very close at 99.8%. However, I did notice that the Roomba 980 had a cleaner initial pass, but the results are very close and both robots are ideal options for cleaning sand if you live near a beach. Results of the service debris test are very close. It's basically a toss-up between the two. You could say that the Roborock S5 Max is better on hard surfaces, while the 980 is better on carpet because of the scores. But in a real-world scenario, both will do well. The S5 Max had a slightly better result cleaning the edges based on the eye test, picking up more coffee grounds in this area. In the hair wrap test where I scattered 1 gram of human hair between 5 and 7 inches, both vacuums did well with hardly any hair wrapping on a brush roll, but the limit of these robots is at 7 inches and 1 gram. Anything over it will wrap on the brush. I doubt you'll encounter this much hair on a daily basis, but it's a good habit to check the brushes regularly. Of the two robots, only the S5 Max has the option to mop floors. It's one of the first robot vacuums to use an electronic water tank. I tested it on dried stains like red wine, grape juice, and coffee, and it got excellent results. It was able to clean most of the stains with minimal streaks. I didn't have to use a mop afterwards to clean up the residue. Larger stains may need two runs, but the results are the same. Minimal streaks and clean floors. The Roomba 980 won't be able to mop floors, and you'll need to purchase an iRobot Rava to gain access to this feature. Both robots will have access to their respective smartphone apps. The Roomba 980 is compatible with the iRobot Home app, while the S5 Max is compatible with the Roborock or the Xiaomi Home app. One advantage Roborock has is the availability of containment features because of its ability to save maps. Users of the S5 Max will have access to features like invisible wall, no-go zones, and no map zones. An invisible wall is a line drawn on the map that blocks the robot from going past it. The no-go zone and no map zones are similar in that you can draw rectangular or square zones that the robot cannot enter. The Roomba 980 doesn't have access to these features since it only has the iADAPT 2.0 navigation, so there's no map saving feature. Only newer Roombas like the i6, i7, and S9 have containment features. The S5 Max also has more options with its scheduling feature. Users had the option to select weekdays or weekends and schedule multiple runs on the same day, something not possible with the iRobot Home app. Roborock wins this round handily. Users will have access to containment features like the no-go zones and invisible wall, so there's no need to physically block the robot to prevent it from going into off-limit areas. The Roomba 980 doesn't have access to these features, so you'll have to use a physical barrier or iRobot's virtual wall device to block the robot. Because of their popularity, purchasing parts for the Roomba 980 and Roborock S5 Max shouldn't be a concern. Parts like the filter and brushes are plentiful in online stores like Amazon. You can even buy sets which I think offers better value. But Roomba provides more options to users. For example, aside from the filters and brushes, components such as the battery for the 980 are easier to find, both from iRobot and third-party manufacturers. You can even buy obscure parts like a side brush motor in Amazon. Do a search on Roomba 980 parts and you'll see what I mean. Roborock doesn't have this much parts availability yet, especially from third-party manufacturers, but it's slowly gaining popularity, so hopefully it catches up. To conclude this comparison, the Roomba 980 and Roborock S5 Max are excellent mid-price options for consumers looking for a smart navigating robot vacuum that will keep their floors clean. Both robots will navigate efficiently and suitable even in large homes thanks to the recharge and resume feature. The Roomba 980 is better at cleaning embedded dirt thanks to the counter-rotating brushes and dirt detect. But the S5 Max can mop floors and has better app features. Choosing one will depend on what features you will prioritize. The Roomba 980 is the better option for cleaning carpets, while the S5 Max is better suited for hard surfaces thanks to its ability to mop floors. Plus, you'll have access to the map saving and containment features not found in the 980. I hope this video has helped you decide between the Roborock S5 Max and Roomba 980. 
If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get notified for more content like this. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.